What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke. I often get the question, what do I use to record? I use Shadowplay, an NVIDIA product to record. It says right now I'm recording at 60 frames per second. And if we look at any of the files I recorded with Shadowplay, for example, we'll go ahead and look at a Borderlands 2 file right now, you'll see that it says it's recorded at 59 frames per second. And that's because it saves the files at just under 60 frames per second. I think at around 59.97 or something around there. If we look at Loadout or any other game, you'll notice that they're all the same at 59.97. However, once I render my videos for YouTube, and I use Sony Vegas for that, I get a question on that sometimes too. Uh, all my rendered videos are at 29 FPS or just under 30. And that's because YouTube does not traditionally support uh, higher than 30 FPS in their traditional player. And so even if I uploaded this video at 60 frames per second, it would still play back at 30 frames per second. Which, you know, is good. YouTube's definitely an awesome service and everything. But it would be nice to be able to put up some 60 FPS gameplay. And that's actually possible using the YouTube HTML5 player. Just Google YouTube HTML5 and you can activate the HTML5 player which will change the way your videos are played to HTML5 instead of Flash. And we can access playback speed now. I'll go ahead and let you listen to what the video sounds like at double speed. For those that have pre-ordered it, it's a small game. It only costs $10 to pre-order, and I was definitely interested in some of the alpha footage I saw of the game itself, so I definitely pre-ordered it. Uh, this game has quite a few features, one of which is the headbutt. So I'm going to headbutt this guy here who's kind of talking to all this. And so that's pretty funny uh, with the audio playing back at twice speed and everything. But technically there, the video is playing at 60 FPS because it's uploaded at 30 FPS and we're playing it back at double speed. And so at the end of this video here, I've actually recorded some footage where I show you 30 FPS and 60 FPS side by side. But you have to go ahead and enable that HTML5 player to go ahead and access that. So go ahead and do that and then meet me back at this video. All right, so hopefully you enabled the HTML5 player and doubled playback speed of the video so that you will be viewing the video as I intended and it will function properly. What you should notice right away is that the left half of the video is much smoother than the right half of the video. That is because it is effectively playing back at 60 frames per second, where the left half of the video is only playing back at 30 frames per second. This is achieved by rendering one half of the video at 30 frames per second and the other half at 15 frames per second with the video playing back at half speed and then once you double the speed those frames per seconds will become 60 and 30 frames per second and the video will play back at real time. You should be able to easily see a difference between 30 and 60 FPS. What I wanted to do is make this video and illustrate this difference to people. One of the reasons I wanted to make this video today is because it's currently a hotly debated issue in gaming. Uh, new consoles just came out and they're actually having trouble achieving 60 frames per second in native HD resolutions. 
And that's not a very good thing. Obviously, 60 frames per second is more desirable than 30 frames per second just because it is smoother. Now, if you listen to some people, they'll tell you that the human eye can only see X amount of frames per second. I don't know who started that rumor, but I have seen the X be, be stated by these people as being as low as 16 frames per second, 24 frames per second, you know, 28 frames per second, or 30 frames per second and that anything above those values is unperceivable by humans. This is entirely untrue. The human eye does not perceive frames per second. It actually sees a continuous flow of light. And the more frames you have, the more fluid things will appear. As you'll notice now, the video is, instead of being bisected vertically, it is now being bisected horizontally, with the top half of the video playing back at 60 frames per second and the bottom half of the video being the one at 30 frames per second. The top half is obviously much smoother. Now, I'm not really sure why people believe that they can only see a certain amount of frames per second. Uh, if you just go out and view something moving quickly in the real world, such as a car on a high, you know, speed limit road, you'll notice that, you know, you don't see any choppiness. You just see a continuous blur, uh, or not even a blur just continuous movement of the car and that's really you know what games are trying to achieve is fluid movement the f more frame rate you have the more frames per second uh, the more fluid things will appear However, most modern displays only go up to 60 hertz or could only be, you know, capable of displaying 60 frames per second. However, some displays like the ones I have go up to either 120 hertz or 144 hertz in my case and this will actually allow you to get some ultra smooth gameplay at around 120 or 140 frames per second personally i can you know easily see the difference between uh, 60 frames per second and 120 frames per second. Uh, it's just as apparent as the difference between 30 and 60 to me. And the difference between 120 and 30 is, you know, huge it's a very very big difference right now I've actually changed the video so that it's split into quarters 
with the top left and bottom right sections being the 30 FPS and the top right and bottom left being the 60 FPS and this you know should be pretty apparent I wanted to give you guys different uh, bisecting angles so that you could easily see the difference in choppiness and fluidity that these frame rates actually provide so I hope this video will you know show people that there is definitely a difference between 30 and 60 FPS because for some reason people are actually arguing that 30 FPS is the same as 60 FPS this is entirely untrue personally I think in 2014 uh, gaming at 30 FPS is completely unacceptable. You know, I don't play my games in 60 FPS. I definitely shoot for 120 or higher um, in almost all situations. It's just a more enjoyable experience. However, um, I'd say 60 FPS is definitely, you know, good enough for most considering displays only go up to 60 FPS. 30 FPS, though, is not okay. Uh, that's half your display's capabilities basically and it doesn't seem like that in 2014 with a brand new video game system you should ever have to play at 30 FPS but such is the reality and it's one of the reasons I would recommend PC over consoles personally Anyway, I hope this video was very illustrative, guys, and was able to clearly demonstrate the difference between 30 and 60 FPS. I do thank you guys very much for watching. If you haven't yet, please take the time to subscribe. That would help me out. And I'd appreciate that quite a bit. Otherwise, I hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.